I've been trying this winter to do some extra special things to improve the quality of life for our chickens. I bought bags of mealworms, grubs, different things I've been feeding them throughout the course of the winter. And I have a garbage can in the garage full of bird seed, sunflower seeds to feed the birds with. And I give them to the chickens as well every now and then. But I was thinking, why not try to grow some for the chickens and let them eat something green in the middle of winter. So I grew three trays of them. It was quite easy. And we're gonna give these to the chickens today and see how much they love them. But before we get into that, we have a couple other things to get going to fix up in the chicken coop. And I wanted to share that stuff with you guys today. So let me get in here and I'll show you what I'm working with and just check up on everybody. Make sure they're all doing all right. We have currently, we have one rooster and one, two, three, one, two, three, five. No, six laying hens. I don't even know how many chickens we got. Chicken math, right? They've survived the winter just fine. They've been doing good out here in their chicken run. We did have one issue this winter, and I will bring you around here and show you what's going on. This is our automatic chicken door. I installed this probably, oh gosh, four years ago, maybe five years ago. It's solar power. There's a little solar panel over on the front side of the chicken coop. The solar panel is light activated, so it knows as the daytime hours get shorter or longer, it auto adjusts based on the sun. There was one point in time this winter, I came out here to check their water and the door was shut and it was the middle of the day. So a quick little bit of troubleshooting and I found that this fuse right here Two different times this has happened to me in the winter when the door tries to open and close and there's ice or resistance on the shaft that opens and closes the door this fuse right here blows and i was able to test it by basically wrapping the fuse in aluminum foil and sticking it right back in and now the door works fine so i reached out to the manufacturer our chicken door is made by a company called ladies first chicken doors it's a gentleman by the name of Mike. This is not sponsored. We did not, he did not send this to us. We purchased it on our own and said, hey, is this my problem? And he's like, yep, you want some more fuses? And I'm like, no, just, I'll just go buy some. I mean, they're, they're like 50 cents a piece or something. And that's what the little things look like. It's just a little fuse. And I'll pop this new one in there. And now I have actually like nine spares. So if it happens again, in the four years that we've had this chicken door, the only problems we've ever had is the fuse blowing twice. Both times in the middle of winter. And it's a quick and easy fix. The first time the guy sent me fuses for free, this time I bought some so I have them and I don't have to wait for him to ship me some. And we can just close this back up. And I'll check tonight to make sure that it really does close. And I broke off my door. You probably saw in the very beginning of this video, this is my little roof thing that I designed to go right here to keep the ice off of the door. And it kind of rotted out and came off. So I guess I get to build them a new, a new awning for their door. Last little bit of project for today, and then we will feed the chickens. Check out the cool chicken coop barn quilt that my mom made. She made this for me probably a year ago, if not a year and a half ago. Gave it to me as a gift. I put it in my garage, and I let it sit there, and I never hung it up. So today's the day. Thank you, Mom. My mom has a side business, an Etsy shop, where she makes barn quilts. Not all small ones like this, not chicken ones per se. All different types of designs, flags, trees, geometric designs. She's done really well with it. In fact, she teaches like, she even teaches classes for other people on how to make these. So if you're ever in the market for a barn quilt, I will leave a link to her Etsy shop down below. You guys can check it out. So let's get it hung up and see how 
See how it looks on the chicken coop. One thing to keep in mind though, my mom makes basically all of these per order. She doesn't have like a big stock of them. So if like two or three of you buy one, it's probably gonna come pretty quick. If like 50 of you go and buy one, it might be a little while because it takes her, I don't know how long. If these little ones like this, yeah, they might be quick, but like those big three foot by three foot ones, I think they take her like a week or something to make them. So got a special treat for you guys. So these things were surprisingly easy to grow. I basically came out here to the chicken run. I collected some of the soil slash compost that the chickens have made over the winter and sifted it. Those little green trays that the uh, sunflowers are growing in were, I got them on Amazon. I think they were advertised as trays for microgreens. They're like a dollar a piece or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Oh, somebody got one. Keep going. Good job. Um, I did soak the sunflower seeds. They're just black, black sunflower seeds that you buy in bulk to feed to birds. I soaked them for about 30 minutes in some water. Spread out the soil on those trays spread out the seeds and then added maybe between a quarter and a half an inch of soil on top. And then I placed them on our growth station that we have in the house, which we have set up anyways, because we're in the process of uh, getting ready to start all of our seeds for our garden for this year. So it, it was already there. I figured what the heck, I might as well try it and see how well it works. Super easy to grow. They got that big in seven to 10 days, I think. I probably could have fed them to the chickens um, at day seven if I wanted to, but the weather was just kind of crappy and I didn't want to get out here. So they seem like they're loving these. To do something better would be to do like one tray, wait a week, do the next tray, wait a week, do the next tray. That way you don't have three trays worth to feed to the chickens. In fact, they only brought two out here today. I left the other one in the house. That way you're kind of on a cycle and you have like every week you have a fresh batch ready. Well, they seem to really enjoy them. They're back going back at it. <laughs> Super easy project. I'm, I'm hoping that it really helps with their quality of life. It's winter. They don't get a lot of green stuff right now. It took me about five minutes to plant the seeds. Water them once a day. Put them under the grow lights for a week. And they got food. So pretty darn cool. Space them out. Like I said, if you're going to do multiple trays, do one tray at one tray per week at a time. And I think that's about all I got for you guys today. The chicken sign turned out super cute. I'll leave a link to my mom's Etsy shop down in the description if you want to check that out. I left my gloves. It's time to go in and have some dinner. See what Rachel's up to. So we'll see you guys on the next video.